2024 has had some really amazing movies and some really terrible ones, so here's my ranking of the biggest movies still coming out in the second half of 2024, ranked by how excited I am for them. At number 10, I have Sonic 3. Now, even though this is last, everything that's on this list I am still somewhat excited for. I'm not the biggest fan of the first two Sonic movies. I absolutely love Jim Carrey as Dr. Eggman in those, and I think the Sonic design is also really good, and there's some funny moments all throughout, but overall, they're just kind of average video game adaptations. I am really excited to see what this movie does with Shadow the Hedgehog. He is an amazing Sonic a character and has a chance to be a really cool addition to this movie, especially since he's voiced by Keanu Reeves. And plus, we know that Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik is coming back for this movie, so that's another huge plus in this movie's favor. At number 9 is Venom 3, aka Venom The Last Dance. I am a fan of the first two Venom movies. Yes, they're stupid, dumb, and not really that great, but there's something you can just sit down and have a ton of fun with and watch some mindless action. Plus, I think Tom Hardy is amazing in these movies. I love his dynamic he has with Venom and how they just show this on screen. I do feel like this franchise is a little bit played out, though, so I hope they go out with a big bang with this movie and kind of free up the Venom character to maybe be used in the MCU in the future. We'll see how they handle all that. Also, we get a Venom horse in this movie, so at least we get that. And as I said, it's just going to be a ton of fun, even if it's going to be completely stupid. At number eight, I have Alien Romulus. Now, I was a huge fan of the very first Alien movie. Ever since then, I just have not ever felt that same love for this franchise again, so I'm just a little worried about this one. But with that being said, the marketing is kind of working on me, and it's pulling me in, and I am excited to see what they do with this one. I'm a little cautious, but I hope it's going to be a really good horror film. At number seven, we have Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Over 30 years after the original, we're finally getting a sequel, and normally these legacy sequels seem very useless, but I'm super excited to see this one. First of all, Michael Keaton coming back is going to be absolutely incredible to see and he's not the only one we're also having Winona Ryder return which is just going to be amazing plus this movie is being really smart with the newcomers they're adding into this franchise Jenna Ortega perfectly fits in with the vibe of the original and I can't wait to see her in this one and Willem Dafoe is in this movie and he's one of my favorite actors of all time so I'm super excited to see all these people in this movie at number six I have Robert Edgar's Nosferatu no I'm not gonna lie I am not the biggest horror fan on the planet by any means but this trailer looks so dope and I am just completely bought into this it's gonna be really interesting to see what Robert Robert Eggers can do with this story. I feel like his directorial style fits this perfectly. The visuals have been amazing so far. I just hope it lives up to it. At number five, I have Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. If you're unaware, this is a new Lord of the Rings movie, but it's going to be an anime movie, which to be honest, I don't know how I feel about all these different studios kind of just straight ripping the Japanese anime style and using it for their own properties, but at least this does look like it was really well done and a lot of effort went into the animation here rather than things like the Rick and Morty anime that look absolutely terrible. This movie is also taking place over 250 years before the Fellowship of the Ring, so I'm super excited to get back to Middle Earth and spend a lot more time there, plus it's going to be over two and a half hours long. The story is going to focus on the King of Rohan and his daughter as they go into war. His daughter's the one in red here below me. At number four, I have Trap. Now, I am not the biggest M. Night fan whatsoever. I think a lot of his movies have either really obvious or just cheap twists. And I feel like a lot of his movies think they're a lot smarter than they actually are, but this one I'm really hyped for. The trailers look incredible. It's essentially a horror thriller film taking place in the setting of a concert because authorities know that there's a murderer on the loose and that he's going to be at this concert. So the whole thing is essentially set up to be a trap to keep him in here and finally catch him. And in the trailer, we actually see that Josh Hartnett is there with his daughter and it's revealed that he actually is the killer that's there and he knows it's a trap set up for him now knowing m night i'm sure there's going to be a lot more twists and turns along the way maybe he's not actually the killer like the trailer alludes to but either way this is just one of the most well put together and edited trailers it perfectly got me hyped for this film and i can't wait to see what he does with this at number three is twisters maybe it's just because it's so close to releasing but i am super excited for this movie i just watched the first twister movie from the 80s for the first time last night and i'm not gonna lie i had an absolute blast with it if you want to see my quick review for it go on letterbox at vets movies and follow me over there I think Glenn Powell is the perfect choice to lead this new version of the movie and plus with all the new advances and technology it's going to look absolutely insane. Plus sometimes you just want a completely over the top and insane action movie that's just going to be a ton of fun the entire runtime and I feel like that's exactly what this is going to be. I cannot wait to see it. Let me know in the comments your top three most anticipated for the rest of the year quick. At number two for me is Deadpool Wolverine. I'm seeing a lot of people now out here coming out and saying oh Deadpool has never been funny. How are you going to be excited for this? The humor is just going to be so cheap and lazy. I'm sorry I'm not jumping on board with that bandwagon. I I love these characters. I'm super excited to see them both finally teaming up, and I think this is going to be absolutely hilarious and a ton of fun and something the MCU has really needed. These are seriously two of the greatest comic book movie character castings I've ever seen in my life, especially Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. I just rewatched all the X-Men movies in preparation for this, and I forgot how just incredible he is in all of these. I cannot wait to see him return as the character. I'm going in with no expectations of seeing any specific cameos or anything. I'm just going to be there for the wild ride and a bunch of the humor, and I'm ready to have a blast with this film. My number one is Gladiator 2. 
who at a certain point in time, if you asked me, I would have said, why is this even being a movie? Does Gladiator really need a sequel? But after the latest promo images we've been getting, and now we just got the trailer, this looks like it's going to be an absolutely epic movie. The visuals look insane. It's loaded with amazing actors like Denzel Washington, Paul Mescal, and Pedro Pascal. And I'm so ready to see this thing in theaters. Make sure you like the video and watch another one above my head right now.